Russian TASS media has reported that Russia and India are discussing the joint development of Su-57 fifth-generation fighter jet at the facilities of Hindustan Aeronautics Limited, and everything will depend only on India, since the Russian side is ready to conclude a contract for the production. It also reported that under Make in India program, India seeks the level of localization of military equipment to be at least 70%, and it is very likely that India will not license and localize the export version Su-57E with a L-41 F-1 engines, but will go ahead with a modified version of the Su-57M, which is a new variant with second stage engines, updated avionics improved mission systems, reliability and maintenance enhancements, and incorporation of electromechanical drives. India and the US are exploring the possibility of jointly developing and manufacturing the M777 extended range ultralight howitzer that has a range of 70 km. Officials have said that the existing 30 km range 145 M777 howitzers currently in use by the Indian Army could also be converted into extended range. India and US will jointly develop a specialized kit and a new barrel, and India will produce the guns indigenously and will be allowed to export them. Bharat Dynamics has said that it has received an export order worth $255 million, and the order will be executed subject to government clearances. The company has not released more information on the platform or the export customer, and chances are that Armenia has placed orders for NAG anti-tank guided missile, which was cleared by the Indian government for export in February 2021. The 4 km range NAG is equipped with an imaging infrared seeker, that can engage static and moving targets in both day and night conditions. Bharat Electronics Limited has developed an indigenous anti-radiation decoy system, that has the ability to deviate the path of the anti-radiation missile fired from enemy fighter jets to target Indian air defense systems. The anti-radiation decoy system will release radio frequencies that are similar to the electromagnetic waves being transmitted by the radar systems of the Indian Air Defense System, and the enemy's anti-radiation missiles will identify the decoy as the real radar of the Air Defense System. With the decoy system in place, the Indian Air Defense Systems will be online to carry out operations, that will make it difficult for enemy fighter jets to breach air defense. Officials of Russia's Rostec Corporation have said that the company is aware of the recent request for information for medium transport aircraft issued by the Indian Air Force, and is keen to offer its IL-276 medium airlift military transport aircraft. Russia's United Aircraft Corporation and Hindustan Aeronautics Limited wanted to jointly develop the IL-276 aircraft in a joint venture but HAL walked out of the program due to differences over the selection of the engines for the program and workshare agreements. Russia has offered a customized variant as per Indian requirements, and is also ready to accommodate a non-Russian engine this time. After a 15-month major refit, India's first aircraft carrier INS Vikramaditya will move to the outer anchorage of the Kawar Naval Base, and will resume sea trials next month. The carrier will be delivered to the Indian Navy on 31 March, and will first undergo various armament and surface-to-air missile system checks, that will be followed with MiG-29K fighter operations in April 2023.